Hi everyone. So now I want to share with you chapter 11 of Psalms. And it's amazing how once again, we see um, references to Hamas written in scripture. Let me share my screen so I could show you the scripture. Okay, so this is the website um, called Gateway Bible. And if you type Psalm 11, you will see what I am showing you here. And um, it says here, the Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. And the word for violence is again, Hamas. Let me just make sure that this is working. Yep, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, good. So I wanted to make sure that you could see what I see. So this is the same um, uh, verse on a different website. This is Mechon Mamre, which is like a Hebrew site that has the Hebrew and English side by side. So we're focusing on the verse number five, the Lord trieth or examines or tests the righteous, but the wicked, the evil person, the person that loves violence, God hates his soul. So I want to focus on the word for God. And then I want to talk about leadership. So first of all, I mentioned in a previous video, um, the name of God, um, it's in Hebrew, it's spelled Yud, He, and a Vav, and a He. So different religions have um, pronounced it in different ways. Jewish people don't pronounce it because this is considered a name that's too holy to pronounce. So we substitute a different word. We say Adonai, means my master or my God or my Lord. So other religions, for example, Jehovah Witnesses, they call this name Jehovah. But in Hebrew, there's no J sound. Yud is a Y sound. And in other religions, they call it Yahweh. But again, um, so, they, so they got the Yah right. The Yud is a Y sound. But in Hebrew, there's no W, there's no way here. This is a vav and it's a va sound. So this is a name that is from the same root in the biblical story when Moses asks God to say, who should I say sent me? And God says, Eheye asher eheye. And it's been mistranslated in all the Bibles to say, I am that which I am. And eheye is actually the future tense of the word haya, which is, um, or, or to be, or um, instead of I am, it should be, I will be that which I will be. Because God is not static. He's not just in the present. God is, was, and will be. So God is the past, the present, and the future. And ehye denotes that, that God is dynamic. God is always in the process of becoming. So there's a meditation that Wayne Dyer says is like the Moses meditation. And it's basically the meditation of I am. And then you're supposed to say, I am. And then you fill in the blank with whatever it is that you want, whether it's healing, prosperity, relationship, children, marriage, whatever it is. And then I am. But the subconscious mind knows that it's not true. So if a person needs healing, for example, and they say, I am healthy, I am, the subconscious mind kind of rejects it automatically because the subconscious mind knows that the person is not healing. So instead they should say, I am healing, I am, or the Hebrew, eheye, and, and then healing, and then eheye, because that's, that's, the God, that's God's name. It's not I am, it's I will be, I am becoming. I am becoming prosperous. I am becoming a mother. I am becoming a married woman, etc. So um, then this this so let's just read this again. So Adonai Tzadik um Yivchan, the Lord trieth the righteous, the Rasha and the evil person, <clears throat> the Ohev Hamas, and the one who loves Hamas, Sananafsho, God hates his soul. So Again, you see well-intentioned people talking about the war, about, you know, that you should have compassion towards both sides. And we do have compassion towards all innocent people. But Hamas, unfortunately, is using their people as a human shield. And that's the difference between um, righteous and just leadership and corrupt and evil leader leadership. So in the in the commentary on on this um, psalm psalm number 11 
It talks about Moses and King David and why were they chosen to be the leaders of the Jewish people, not only for humility, but they were both shepherds and they both took such care of their sheep that when God saw that their care and compassion and concern for one single sheep that went astray from the flock and how tenderly they went and and recuperated this sheep sheep to be part of their flock again, etc. God said, this person is worthy of uh, being the shepherd of my people, because if they care and have compassion for another living creature, such as an animal, how much more so should they have compassion over other human beings? So we see that leaders are people who have compassion over human beings and not people who, lahavdil, as we say in Hebrew, the opposite of that is people who use their human beings as pawns and hide behind them and and basically um, you know have no no sanctity for human life whatsoever. So this is Psalm 11 and um, I hope that everyone got like a little something from from the video and I encourage you if you did feel free to share it and um, definitely study the Psalms, study things that enrich you and give you more faith and hope and know that everything that's happening um, has been ordained above and the, the future is in our hands though. We can change the outcome of what's happening by being the best version of ourselves, by being the best human being that we could be. So um, please do an act of loving kindness today and, and spread joy and healing and, and faith and all good things in the world. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.